that's good. Okay, now we're like, okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is uh, the role, right? The role class. So we have to create a code for that one. So how do we do that? So create another file, new file, role.py. We create a class, uh, role. And then we have a define role value uh, self. Okay, so this is kind of like a coding thing, right? So let me bring back, uh, if I just code and expect you all to understand, which would be unfair for the students, right? So, okay. So when we, when we if I roll, I have to die, right? And I roll or dice, right? So and I roll 10 times. I'm rolling the same, the same two die, right? Same die. So it's kind of like, okay, so how do I make sure I handle that here in my, in my coding? So where each time I create a role, I'm not creating two, two different die. And if I roll 10 times, then I would have 20 die. That's not what I want. I want to like just have one set of dice, right? So two die. So here I need a constructor where I say, hey, give me a die one and then give me a die two. So somebody from the outside has to give us die one and die two. And then we save them in here. But we will be only referencing to one set of die, right? Might seem like not a big deal. But I mean, if we're after modeling the real world, then it should be a big deal, right? So let's see how we handle that with code. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and say uh, die one. Here uh, we can, uh, in Python, so flexible, you can like say die one equals zero. It'll be overwritten with whatever we bring in. I think uh, well, we use zero for now, but I'll find a better solution because zero kind of looks tacky. Okay, so so here I would say uh, return. Again, we were looking for simplification, right? So die die one plus die two. Actually, this is self, right? <clears throat> die one rule and then self dot die two rule right so we return the two values summed up and that gives us a role value but I was, what I was saying is we need a constructor right so we need the special initializer uh, def uh, init remember that uh, that allows us to bring in uh, values from the outside so we need the uh, self, and then we say, okay, I want uh, die one, and then I want die two. And what I'll do is I'll set them to die one and die two here. Oops, not C plus uh, plus. Self dot die two. Okay, so questions here with this role class. I mean, the I mean, you all had already done the die class, right? So that was pretty, hopefully, like easy. But this one, like, I want to make sure we understand what we're doing here or why I'm doing this. Can we just uh, or like um, random, uh, random rand int and put like x x instead of doing this uh, uh okay we we don't use this die uh well i'm sorry 
Yeah, because you put like uh, two uh, functions, return two functions or something like that. I'm just okay. This is what I think. This is what I think you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. To use it here instead of the die, right? Yeah. But then we're going back to our thinking of using functions to program, and we want to get away from that thinking. And now we're thinking of creating objects that model the real world, right? Uh, so okay. there's no random generator in the die in the real world, right? But if you really think about it, it is, right? Because every time you roll, it's like generating a random value. So the so every time you throw a dice, it's going to more than likely be a different value. So mm -hmm. with this piece here, then we are modeling something from the real world and bringing it into our program, right? So that's why we opt to do this, because we want to stay away from or procedural or functional thinking, and now we want to think in terms of objects, right? So that's why we're doing this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we go back here, and we're like, okay, so, so we have this, the role, and now we test the role, right? So we go and we can test the role. And now we know that uh, we need to verify that the values are 1 min max 12, right? So 1 through 12, because we're dealing with uh, two, two die, right? So or dice, right? Set of dice. So let's go to the test case here. How can you use the role function without importing uh, the die class? Oh, because it's in the same folder, right? directory here um, it's okay, in the same okay. directory. so if it's in the same folder you it can access it yeah yeah python will look there first okay yeah. mm -hmm. hopefully we'll see <laughs> okay uh, let me see here uh, actually because ro yeah yeah it, it, it'll work right so it'll work let's see Okay, I'm pretty sure it'll work, like 99% sure. Okay, so we're like dev a test uh, roles, right? So test uh, roles. Okay, so we have role equals role. Uh, okay, I'm going to write statement by statement to prevent any confusion. So we create the first die, uh, die, right? And then we create the second die, die. And we send in die one, and then we send in die two. So there we have our set of die, right? Our dies, right? So, uh, and then I need to make sure I do a quick fix and. Uh, I want it to blow up, so I have to put SRC here, right? SRC dot. Okay. Okay, so I have my role. Uh, and then I say uh, uh, the role value. Uh, okay. So we say self dot. Um, assert equal. Uh, role role value greater equal to one should be true and then this one role value uh, less than equal to 12 right I guess we could do a loop to make sure that it we generate enough uh, roles to make sure that we're okay so maybe we should do that right i guess i should have done that for the other one too uh, let me see here uh, let's run it like this first let's not get too crazy with our test cases clear okay um run test and let's run it Okay, so so it, it works, right? But I, I think we should we should probably create a loop, right? Just to make sure that we're like uh, testing more than one uh, 
one die roll and more than one roll. So here, uh, let me see here. Uh, I think we should be able to just create a loop here. Uh, for uh, let me think here. Uh, should we do that? For I uh, in range, uh, what is it? Zero to seven, right? Because it's minus one. Um, go here. Tab. Okay, so do it and then. Okay, let me do this one before I run the other one. So clear. And let's run it. Run test. Run it. Okay, so we're looping and we didn't get any fails. So that's good. That means we're staying within the 1 to 6 range. Okay, so now we do the same thing for this one. This one at least 12 times, right? Let's do it at least 12 times. Uh, we don't want to create... Uh, different roles. We just want to be like, okay, I'll just. I do have to create different roles, right? Wait, let me look at the role again. Otherwise, we're just going to be testing the same value, right? Or no, no. Actually, we can just yeah. This works. Sorry, the generator will generate a new value each time. So here we can say for uh, in range zero to thirteen. Tab and clear, and then we run it. And we're good. So we have the test cases so far, right? So good. 